Yeah, 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 yeah. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. I'm ready, ready for the season to start. Going for my little, you know, my little morning stroll. And some things came across my mind in terms of, you know, what we got to do, what we got to accomplish for the season. Who is the most ready wide receiver on our roster? As far as the young group goes, who's the guy that's ready? Who's the most ready to, to get busy and get to work? When I think about ready, I think about a few attributes. I think about body. Jalen Rager absolutely has the body. He's ready physically. When I think about age, I think about Hightower. He's up there. I think he's about 24. You know what I mean? That's usually a guy who stayed all four years in college. When I think about just 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 brute speed, I think Quez Watkins already has that. But what one guy has the 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 entire package already? There's only one guy that comes to my mind when you think about the entire package already. The maturity. I gotta give the high tower. The size, I gotta give the high tower. 6'2. The speed, I gotta give the high tower. The ability to create separation. On the outside, I got to give the high tower. Uh, the ability to make noise in a punt return game, I got to give, in a kick return game, I got to give the high tower. High tower looks like he is ready to contribute day one. Now, he's not the only one. Rager looks like that as well. You know what I'm saying? High tower, not the only one who, who, who looks like they've been doing this already. High tower has qualities that you cannot overlook. You can't overlook him. There's been a lot of talk about Rager. Can he contribute from day one? Now, with this guy opting out and Marquise Goodwin, it's a void. It's a spot open for somebody to come out here and make some noise. It's a spot open. And I think if you're going from a maturity standpoint, you got to think about it like this. Deshaun Jackson and Alshon Jeffrey are the two veteran receivers in the core right now. The third, the third veteran receiver in the core would be Ortega Whiteside because he has the third most snaps. But I think Hightower could be potentially already better than Ortega Whiteside. You can't get much worse. Hightower can high point a ball. He could run a fly route. Hightower could run end arounds. He could run jet sweeps. Hightower is a Swiss Army knife, just like Jalen Rager. And we we done so we done some things with, with, with putting this group together. We've done some good things. You know what I'm saying? And, and all things are pointing to a trajectory that is going up for the Philadelphia Eagles. But I have to say this. I think Hightower is going to be one of the best wide receivers out of this class. I've been looking at a lot of John Hightower. I've been looking at a lot of them lately. He's not getting the hype. They're not talking about him how they probably should. But I think he's going to be the best wide receiver, one of the best wide receivers in the draft class. Now, I'm hoping him and Rager could be good together, but that creates a problem for the Philadelphia Eagles down the uh, line. Who would they keep if four or five years from now they both end up being really good thousand-yard receivers and stuff like that? Now, at the end of the day, these are young weapons. All we can go off is college tape, but our wide receiving core was so bad last year we also have to remember that we, we need all the help we can get at the position. So with that being said, I looked at a little bit of film on John Hightower. I'm gonna, I think it was about three or four key plays we're going to go over here. And I kind of explain what really popped out to me in these plays. I mean, he's really, really mature. And when you stay in the game, when you stay in the game, for 24 when you stay when you stay in college until you're about 24 that speaks volumes let me let me shed some light on that for you um Derek Barnett is 24 I think he just turned 24 seems like he's been with us forever right he played in the Super Bowl with us just turned 24 you know what I'm saying look how long we've been waiting for him to take that next step and sometimes that next step comes with maturity you got to get older to something that sometimes you know realize what's really happening around you got to get older to to understand that you know you 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 know you're you're you belong here high tower is already the same age as barnett you know what i'm saying high tower has went through some some of these some of these issues some of these young some of these mental you know mentally young growing pains he's went through it already you know what i mean i think that high tower is going to contribute from day one 
especially now with Goodwin opting out, I think that we have to take a serious look at Hightower. We have to take a serious look at, you know, Quez Watkins. It's time to start deciding who can make the roster. And besides Jalen Rager, I'm putting my money on Hightower. Y'all know I love Quez Watkins, but Hightower has something I see in him. That size, that speed, that stride, it reminds me of so many legendary wide receivers that came into the NFL. I'm not saying he's about to be a legend overnight, but what I meant, but what I am telling you is that he got these qualities. He got these attributes that you just simply can't overlook. You can't overlook the attributes that this guy has, and I can't wait to see him on the field. You know what I'm saying? We talk, we talk a lot about the disrespect that Carson Wentz is getting. Respect got to be earned in the NFL. I'm, you know, it just got to be earned in the NFL. And I think when these wide receivers step up, and I think when the Philadelphia Eagles record is what it should be. Now, we got to remember this. If the wide receivers step up last year, the Philadelphia Eagles record would have been increased by three wins had wide receivers stepped up. That puts you to 12 wins. Who could disrespect a quarterback with 12 wins? And a bye. You can't disrespect a quarterback with 12 wins in the bye. Being as though the wide receivers kind of left the offensive game plan out to dry, we had to cater the offensive game plan to, you know, the strength and skill set of the wide receivers. It made Carson Wentz, it made Carson Wentz's game look different. Now the results were the same. Most passing yards he's ever thrown for in his career, the results were there, but it made his game look different. You know what I'm saying? He had to work with what he had. You know, a, a few check downs. He had to understand the maturity process that I talk about. You know what I'm saying? Carson Wentz didn't get to mature until now. He understood that it's not about the stats. It's about putting my team in a position to win. The stats going to come. 27 touchdowns, 4,000 passing yards. It's going to come at the end. It's going to come at the end. But what do I have to do to get my team to win? I got to continuously move this ball with a handicapped offense. Yeah, man, we've been so bad in the return game last year, the punt return game, the kick return game. We just don't find creative ways to start off in great field position when forcing punts. I mean, the Philadelphia Eagles have to get better in this area. Last year would have really helped us due to the fact that we um, were handicapped on offense, like I spoke about earlier. Um, I think that John Hightower is going to help in situations like this. Now, these these plays coming up that I'm going to show you uh, displaying John Hightower's, you know, multiple, multiple ways that he could be used in any offense this is going to open your eyes to why I believe that he is, in fact, in fact, a guy who's already developed. You know what I mean? I think John Hightower is just ready to go. Um, the size, the speed the uh the elusiveness you know he doesn't get caught from behind um this play right here shows a little bit of that right now man you know he's lined up down on the bottom of the screen uh finds a nice cushy spot in the zone takes that you know he takes it to the house in fact and this kickoff return right here oh my god i just love this play i watched it multiple times um he he freeze it right here he finds an alley for a cutback lane immediately Immediate, the patience, the vision, it just shows you what he can do. The ability to outrun defenders. We need all of that. You know what I'm saying? We need it all. Look look at this space. Look at the respect that they show him. They show him way too much respect. You know what I mean? And he still, with all that space, still finds a way to get behind you. It probably was a beautiful double move there. But this right here just gets filthy. The, the creative ways to use him, man. He's down on the bottom right of the screen. A little gadget play, a little fake to the running back. Kick off to him on a sweep, and he's gone you know what i mean he's gone he doesn't look that fast but he's obviously fast enough and right here just showing just like just 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 burners man come on bro look at this space man let me know what you think in the comments man i think he's ready man